Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over a massive theory in terms of the new Vari Lumion inside of Lumion Legacy. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the next Vari evolutions that we could be possibly seeing inside of the game. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to go to the like and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so before I start this video, I have to give credit to Flick, who is actually the person that kind of brought this entire thing to my attention, and actually kind of got myself to look into this entire thing and actually start to do my research on what types of Vari we could be getting. Alright, so let's actually look at what types of Vari evolutions we have in the game currently. So of course we have the typeless Servolin, we have the spirit type Wendolin, and we have the ancient type Kirillin. Alright, and now let's go over what types of evolutions we have inside of Pokemon. So, of course, we have Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Sylveon, Glaceon, and Espeon. So, we have all of those right there, and out of all of those, what typings from the ones that we have in Lumion Legacy currently did you see? So keep that in your mind because that is going to be one of our main topics for today's theory. And so a lot of this research and reasoning comes from a Loxton and Noggin video where he goes over why there will never be another new EV type evolution. And the explanation that he actually gives for it is the fact that with every single evolution that we have currently, none of them are physical attackers and all of their typings don't really fit the physical or melee attack status quo. And while yes, you could make the argument that all EV evolutions do have their own physical attacking moves, 9 times out of 10, their special attacking moves are the ones that deal out the most damage and their special attacking stats are the ones that are the most highest. And now you could say that Flareon does have the highest physical attacks that out of any of the evolutions, and I would say that you are correct. But at the same time, back in Generation 1, which was when Flareon was introduced, that was the time when physical and special attack moves didn't really exist. There was no designated kind of thing that, oh, if you had a higher, you know, this stat, then it would affect this move, and if you had a higher this move, then it would affect this move. It was all kind of just pushed into the same category. So of course Flareon would have the highest physical attack stat, but after every single evolution, there have been none that have even come close to breaking the 100 physical attack stat, instead settling for something around 65. Alright, so why do I bring all of this up talking about Pokemon, talking about evolutions, talking about all of this stuff when it's not even Lumion Legacy related? Well, as we know, the Llama Train Studio devs like to actually add stuff to Lumion Legacy that isn't really Pokemon, but more Pokemon inspired. And now if we look to every single thing that I just mentioned, guys, all of the evolutions have an extremely high special attack stat, or an extremely high special defense, or just anything that is but melee attack, okay? Now, we look at Lumion Legacy, what have all of the Vari evolutions been so far? extremely high in melee attack stats, something that is the polar opposite of what we see inside of Pokemon. And everything starts to line up when you look at each of the individual Vari evolutions. Servalin has a melee attack stat of 110, while his range attack stat is 52. And even when Dolan actually gets a melee attacking stat of 119, while his range attack is 93. And I think the cherry on top for this entire thing is that Kirolin actually gets a melee attack stat of 137, which is the highest melee attack stat out of any Lumion in Lumion Legacy currently. And even looking at things like Adaptive Assault, Adaptive Assault is literally a melee attacking move, okay? So, I can already start to see a pattern right here that we are going to be getting probably a new melee type Vari Evolution every single weekend, and not a ranged attacking one. And of course, with this weekend coming up, if we actually do get another melee attacking Vari Evolution, I think that this probably just solidifies the theory that from now on, we're just going to be getting an entire line of melee attacking Lumions. Alright, so now let's go over some possible typings that we could actually see for these Lumions. So, starting off, I'm actually not going to be doing a lot of them because I don't think that they are actually going to be doing one for every single typing, but I do have five typings right here that I think are pretty interesting and could warrant a new evolution. So, starting off with Electric, we have Electric moves being Taze, Electro Punch, Power Siphon, Thunder Chomp, Thunder Clap, Thunder Crash, Thunder Slam. And this actually brings it out to a 5 to 7 ratio of 5 special attacking moves and 7 physical attacking moves. Meaning that this Lumion right here and the entire Lumion type electric actually has more physical attacking moves than it ranged. And this electric type Vari Evolution designed by Turpaw on Twitter actually makes it look really, really awesome. So as you guys can see right here, it's kind of got some like yellow and a little bit of blue lightning going on there as well. It's got some neon parts on it. Its eyes are glowing. The tail is glowing. The horns are actually lightning bolts shooting out from its head. And all around, this Lumion just looks amazing and is definitely 100% something that I would use on my team. 
So for the next typing of our Evo, I think it could be Earth type. Earth type does get Clay Slap, Earthquake, Muck Buck, and Yeti's Wrath with a 3 to 4 ratio of range to physical moves. I think that this Lumen definitely could see an Earth type evolution coming in the future, especially with Earthquake, Clay Slap, Muck Buck, and again, Yeti's Wrath being some of the strongest Earth type moves. It definitely would be pretty cool to see. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an image of an actual Earth type Vari evolution, so we cannot show you guys. So let's move on to the next one. Our next typing is actually going to be the Dark type. Now, Dark type actually gets Slap Down Pilfer, Mega Chomp, Gloom Fangs, Dive Bomb Chomp, Chase Down Blood Drain, and Bamboozle, coming out with a 4 to 9 ratio of four range attack moves and nine physical moves guys this is definitely something that i could 100 percent see okay the dark type actually just kind of idea in general for a deer would be pretty cool especially with this design here again from turpa basing it off of the fanged deer i think that something like this would be pretty cool to see inside of the game of course it does take the characteristics of the really large fangs and i just think all around this lumen is definitely something i'd like to see in the game so this is one that is actually going to be pretty unexpected but it is going to be the metal type now, Metal actually gets Bash Chomp, Complete Demolition, Double Whack, Heavy Bash, Holy Slash, Metal Swipes, Searing Steel, and Steel Crusher. Coming out with a 3 to 9 ratio of range 2 of physical type moves. I think that this one is definitely very likely. You could even see something like, I don't know, you go inside a Pollute Lab and like you evolve it with like, you know, maybe one of the little things that evolves Guard Drone or something like that. You know, you evolve it into Guard Drone, use one of the parts off of that. I don't know, just something interesting like that and it actually could make for a pretty cool evolution method. Alright, so for our final typing, this one is something that needs no explanation whatsoever and that is going to be the Brawler type, okay? Brawler type kind of would make sense because Deers are actually known to stand up and kind of like slap each other other and you know slap people i know it's a it's a very weird thing but i'm pretty sure you know llama Tunes video could actually kind of turn that into somewhat of a you know kind of cool idea but yeah, so those were all of the types that I actually think could be coming to the game in terms of Vari Evolutions. Again, my main reasoning for all of these typings is that they are mainly physical attacking types, okay? These are the types right here that actually have the most physical or melee moves behind them. So to sum everything up, guys, all of the Vari Evolutions that we are going to be getting inside of Lumin Legacy are going to be physical or melee attackers. Now, I could be wrong with this entire thing, and we could see some ranged attackers actually start to come out. But as it stands currently, I feel like Llama Trading Studio actually kind of does want to branch off from the entire evolution thing with all of the evolutions being special or ranged attackers and instead inside of Lumion Legacy have something similar but instead of being again special or ranged it actually would be melee attackers. So yeah I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts about this theory down in the comments below. Do you guys think that it is a plausible theory? Me personally I think it is actually something that I mean we kind of have to wait and see because if we are actually going to be getting something this weekend that is a physical attacking Lumion. So yeah guys that was my entire theory for this video. Again I want to hear your guys' thoughts about this down in the comments below. Also, if you had to add a new type of Vari Evolution to the game, what would it be, okay? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go to another like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.